Hey everybody, I recently discovered a really cool tool that could help out freelancers, designers, or anyone who loves to use Webflow regularly. It's called Webflow Pitch, and it's a customizable presentation that highlights all the great features that Webflow has to offer. So a lot of the times when you're pitching to a potential client, uh, it's hard to sell them on Webflow or why they should use Webflow over WordPress or Wix or any other kind of builder. So this is a great way to make a presentation, almost just like a slideshow, that highlights all the different features of Webflow, and you can customize it to fit their needs, so it only really reflects the things that they will be considering. I thought it was a pretty cool resource, so I wanted to do a quick video on an overview of it all. Let's take a look. Simply head to webflow.com slash pitch, and I'll also put a link in the description below. But first, you'll just have to add your own name and email so they can send you the pitch after you're done, and then you'll click Customize Presentation, and it'll bring you right inside the site. And here's the main page. So it's similar to building out a PowerPoint presentation where there are just full view slides that highlight different features that Webflow offers. And it's all done using form fields connected to Zapier with a little custom code. There's a great read about how they built this actual site on the Webflow blog, so I'll link to that below as well. But basically you can just go slide by slide and add the information where necessary. So I can write who I want this to be sent to. I can create any kind of thing I want, but I'll just write client for now. And you can upload a screenshot of either their own website, maybe they have a brand logo or your own portfolio site you can even do. So I've just got this tiny image here and that's just my website screenshot. And I will say I did upload a large screenshot first and it had trouble loading on the final version of it. So I would just try to shrink down your file size like they recommend to ensure that it will load properly. And then you just kind of scroll down and you go slide by slide and see if there's anything you wanna change. I mean, most of it's already done for you. Each slide has a description about why Webflow's great and highlights different features, build visually without code, no code editor interactions, custom things you can add to it. CMS is a huge thing. And what's also great is that they have clickable links within the little teasers, and that can bring you to the actual Webflow website where they have full descriptions of the entire feature and everything that it can do. And you can keep scrolling. And then here, this is where you get a little customization options. So say they're doing an e-commerce store, you'll definitely want to click online store. And then they have this nice reflection of what that kind of preview would look like. And then you can learn more about e-commerce, but you can change that to whatever type of thing you're potentially building. And you'll see here on the left that these are the slide uh, navigations and some of them are required. And those are good because they're all things that you want your client to know about, but some of them are optional. And for example, this migration, say they don't even have a website yet and they don't have anything they need to migrate. So the slide isn't really relevant to them. You can click here, it says display a slide about migration. And I'm gonna click no, because you know what? They don't need to know about that. I don't wanna overload them with excessive information, right? So I can just hide certain things that I don't think they're gonna need. So security, let's say it's really simple. They're not gonna have payments. They're not gonna need anything special. So you can just kind of toggle things back and forth. You can display what you want. And on the left, it'll reflect the changes. It also has real reviews here, which is really great because obviously that establishes some trust and authority and probably makes them feel a lot better knowing that other people have gotten success out of using Webflow. And at the end, you can even write a personal message thanking them. So I could just say, thanks for your time. I look forward to hearing from you and potentially working together. Just something a little personal, a little note. They can even email a Webflow themselves with this button. So when you're done and everything's the way you want it, you can just click save and send, and it's going to go to the email that you put on the first screen. So just wait for that email to show up. Okay, so I got my email and this is where it took me when I opened the pitch that was sent. So it says, dear client, and that's the name field that we wrote. That could say John, Jane, whatever you want. And here's the image that we uploaded. Nice little teaser display. So say they had an outdated website here and it's reminding them that, hey, there's more potential for your website and here's why you should do it and build it with Webflow. And what's great is they have these little custom interactions set up where when you just scroll or you press the down arrow key once, it takes you to a full screen slide. So they can kind of have a filtered condensed view of just what's important for that slide. So you just keep going down and this is what the client would be reading about and learning about and they can click on all the different links like I mentioned earlier. And it removed all the slides that we turned off, right? So it's only gonna show the ones that um, are relevant to them 
and here's the online store that we had specified to make it a little more personal. So this would be a little different if you had clicked something else like a business or a landing page. And on the bottom, here's our little message that we wrote. Thanks for your time. I look forward to hearing from you, blah, blah, blah. They can email, they have little social links here, all really personal and fun and super easy and free to make. So it's definitely a really nice tool and it's a great way to get somebody excited about using Webflow. So there we go. Not a full design tutorial today, but I came across this while reading the Webflow blog and I thought it was important to share because as I said earlier, sometimes it's hard to kind of convey why a client should use Webflow over different resources. And I thought this was a really easy way to present all the different cool options that Webflow offers. However, I will say there's one important thing that's missing from these slides that they don't feature and that is the client editor. So I know one of the biggest selling points that I do when I'm telling clients why they should use Webflow is that they have the ability to edit their site after we're done making it. That's always a huge point because it's not really offered in a lot of other sites, right? I mean, as soon as I publish the site and I hand it over to them, they're still able to go in, swap out pictures, images, make subtle text changes in the middle of the night. They can update CMS items, add inventory to products, and they don't have to bug me as the developer in the middle of the night for whatever they want. This is a huge deal that's not really easy to come by in other places. So if you're gonna let Webflow Pitch do most of the talking for you, I would just add that little point about the client editor, because that's a great selling point to know that they can manipulate their own site and take control after you pass it on to them. And one more quick freelancing tip while we're on the topic. Once you use Webflow Pitch and intrigue your client on using Webflow, you'll want to send over a formal looking proposal to make yourself seem professional looking and to ensure that they feel good about actually booking your services. I love to use Prospero for this. It's a proposal generator co-created by Ron Segal over at Flux Academy. I'm sure you're familiar with his YouTube channel. He's got a lot of great stuff. Prospero is a great way to generate a document that highlights all the project details, pricing, terms, everything you might have talked about in an initial screening call with a client. So they have tons of different templates to choose from that reflect all different kinds of projects from just a simple landing page to full UX design, full mobile design, all those different options. And then you and the client can sign it together so that way you're on the same page moving forward and everything's really formal and professional looking. So Prospero, another great resource. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you've used Webflow Pitch already and you've opened somebody's mind to the possibilities of Webflow. I'm definitely gonna use it moving forward. So until the next video, I will see you guys later.